Rachel, and this is me, hi, I'm Denise. And this is Level Up. Level Up, Level Up, The Lore. Part one, we are looking at The Lore, L-O-R-E, um, in movies, TV shows. We kind of want to level up our knowledge. So this is what we're doing. We're trying to uh, educate each other. Yeah, we're going to do a bit of research each week. We're going to take turns. This week, Rachel's starting. She chose shape shifting. Awesome. Yeah. So we're going to learn about shape shifting and teach you about it a little bit too. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, shape shifting in mythology, folklore, and sci fi or speculative fiction for those playing at home. Shape shifting is the ability to physically transform through an inherently superhuman ability. Demonic manipulation, mm. divine intervention, sorcery spells, or having inherited the ability. Uh, the idea of shape shifting is in the oldest forms of totemism uh, and shamanism. Fairies, witches, and wizards were all noted for their shape shifting ability. This would be a super long video if we were to explore like all the gods, Greek gods, mm. um, Loki. He himself would have his own episode. Yeah, we'll get to him. That maybe he's hot. Wanted. He's all, yeah, I'll, oh do, I'll do that one. I'll do that one. I'm like so <laughs> bad. Like, I got a lot of Okay, let's move on. So, um, anyway, so also witches have the ability to use spells, etc., glamour to change their appearance. This is not what this YouTube video today is, is about. Is that also shape shifting now? It's using spells and um, potions to shape, sh to shift their appearance. Yeah. The difference is that shape shifting today is not requiring a magical sh spell. It's yes. just like a, an ability that the thing has. It's a creature or being that already possesses this ability without interventive uh, practices. So In Supernatural, shapeshifters are called shifters so there are a race of supernatural creatures who can take the form of any human being cool so we have to remember that it's human beings yeah um they start out as human other form is more insect like they have human um impulses and desires they learn to change their form to look like anyone that they want mm -hmm. and they shed their skin and their nails and their teeth that's Foul. Yeah, so when they're done with being that, that human, yeah. they're shedding. Yeah. Um, and so that would make it really hard to just like change shape often. You couldn't like flick. Because you'd constantly be like shedding and then there's a lot of goo and then. Yeah, I feel, I'd say if you feel vulnerable in that position, like right. you're shedding and you're like, oh. <laughs> and that's when you could be like, rah, rah, rah. Okay. Um, so to kill it, you use silver, mm -hmm. a bullet, or a knife to the heart, um, and you could decapitate it. That raises the question. Yeah. Are all shifters inherently evil? They have human desires and impulses. So they're not inherently evil per se, because they were human at some point. Uh, it can also be killed by ripping its heart out. If you know, you feel the need. They live in lairs, uh, uh, sewers. They live in sewers. They hang out in sewers. So, you know, real nice type of So they probably smell bad. That they do. What? They download all the brain matter of the person that they're taking over. Me. Of the skin that they're taking on. God, that would be embarrassing, right? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Afterwards, you're like, oh my god. I can't believe you knew. So, are we ready for the next one? Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter! Yay! Yay! Okay, so there's three shape shifting types in Harry Potter. Uh, if we're looking at the books versus the games, the PlayStation, Xbox, um, insert promo here. <laughs> um, so if you have the game, then they are actually called shapeshifters and they are creatures. They are not human beings or witches, um, mortal or immortal. They are creatures that possess natural magical ability to transform without needing spells. Are they also evil like in Supernatural? They are not nice. They do not look nice. They are mm -hmm. evil, yeah. Oh. Um, however, if we're looking at the most famous shapeshifter in Harry Potter, it is um, Nymphadora Tonks, and she is what's mm -hmm. called a Metamorph Magus. 
She can transform her um, physical being into anything that is human and animal. Neat. Um, and but the difference between anime guy or uh, is the witch or wizard that can transform into an animal. But Tonks can transform her her body into anything. So she got in trouble when she was in um, when she was at Hogwarts uh, for transforming into the other uh, teachers. So she Ooh. got into detention. Tonks doesn't need any spells or magic to change. She can just make herself change. She she is affected by her emotions. Well, you have to legally be registered by Minister of Magic if you're a metamorph from Magus. But if you're an animagus, you do not have to register with the Ministry of Magic. And that really is ridiculous, because isn't it more dangerous to have unregistered people who can also be tigers? Yeah. Isn't that a worse idea? Yeah. Mm-mm. Ministry of Magic. I don't know. Mm-mm. Yeah. Um, and in the book series, she's the only one that we come across that we know of. So we don't, we're not introduced to any other one. And the third... <laughs> Lots of threes are going here. <laughs> ah, three. Come <laughs> close to my face, Rachel. My beautiful face. Uh, okay, so now we're looking at Mystique. Mm-hmm. So Mystique from X Men, from the X Men universe series. Mm-hmm. She is a mutant subseries, subspecies. That's rude. Of the human. <laughs> That's definitely right. Of the humanity. Uh, yeah. of the humans and she is a shapeshifter she is a specific shapeshifter she was born this way this is uh she can mimic the appearance and voice of any person with exquisite precision well you would need both wouldn't you like you couldn't just look <laughs> like someone else and have your own voice <laughs> like i'm barack obama and this is what i sound like <laughs> that'd be amazing it's, keep trying Oh, you sound amazing right now. (laughs) Okay, so she can um, also assume the form of animals and humans. So she is um, like Tonks in that way. She also, now this is the fun thing, she can also actually create objects using her body. So she can create clothing, glasses, zippers, bags, etc. It's the cells in her body, everything changes. However, she does have a baseline um, of having blue scaly kind of skin. Mm-hmm. She has red hair and yellow eyes. That's why she keeps changing. No, she's beautiful. Can we uh, not discriminate? I mean, she, you called her a subspecies. <laughs> I don't. I did not. Uh, <laughs> um, she also has the ability to constantly rejuvenate her cells, therefore staying young forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's do, cool. Do you want to know how? Is she, she does? also? Well, that's a spoiler. You wish to kill mistake. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is be Wolverine. That's it. That's so it. easy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> anyone could do it. It's his little, his uh, little spiky guys. Solar. Cause to um, kill Mystique, however, Wolverine does to the heart. Again, it's all about heart, about center, about the center of that beating creature. Hmm. So, did you level up? Did you learn? Did I you leveled learn? up. What did I learn? Mm, I learned. Five hours later. I also had never sort of just connected all those three things as a similar thing. So, you know, I think about them all in their unique little universes. And this is what I like about this mm. concept for our first series. Yeah. Is that we're gonna keep sort of drawing parallels between similar types of creatures and characters and lore across all of these mm. different shows so that we can see what's the commonality and what's really different. Because I never would have thought of them the same way. Do you have one that you want me to research? I was interested in shape shifting. Do, mm. do you wanna say what you want me to do for the next one? Vampires could be a really Oh cool my gosh, Because really, I know a lot about vampires, so I think it's going to be really tricky to teach for you, you to teach me something. Oh my god, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> you, I know so much about them. They are the supernatural world's sexiest creatures. Ah! Stay tuned. <laughs>